Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So use trigonometric substitution to integrate this. So press pause and uh, have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, somehow replace this complicated thing here. So you want to create your right angle triangle in such a way that this thing is true. So create your right angle triangle. So hang on. Uh, create your right angle triangle. Um, if you make uh, the hypotenuse to be 1, and if you make this to be 2x, then, uh, then the adjacent will have no choice but to be this. Uh, take away 4x squared. So, uh, so in order for you to integrate this, create your right angle triangle. So, uh, so in, in order for you to integrate this, create your right angle triangle in such a way that this is true. So, uh, so once you've got your right angle triangle, you can then jump to this because, um, because sine theta, sine theta is, um, opposite, uh, over hypotenuse. So this thing here is, is this thing here. So once you've got, so once you've created your right angle triangle, you, you will automatically get this. So once you've got this, differentiate both sides. So, uh, so this will then become this. Uh, differentiate this, that will then become this. So, uh, divide both sides by 2, so dx equals this thing here. So we can now, we can then put this thing into the, uh, into the dx. And this complicated thing here, we want to find a, a way of replacing this. So if you look back at the diagram, if you look at this, cos, um, cos theta will be adjacent, which is this bit here, will be, uh, Will be the will be adjacent over hypotenuse, which is this thing here. So um, so so cos theta equals this thing here. So we can put this. Um, sorry, we, we we can put this into uh, into the complicated bit here, and then uh, and then don't forget dx is uh, is this thing here. So we can put this into the dx. Then uh, then this whole thing here will become this. Will become uh, will become this. So now tidy this up. It will um, tidy tidy this thing up. It will then take you to here. And remember, you um, you must by now know this by heart. So so in order for you to integrate this, use this. Put this. So this will then become this. Okay. So um, so now integrate it. It will then give you this. Tidy uh, tidy up. It will then give you. It will then give you this. But the thing is, we don't want the answer in terms of theta. We want the answer in terms of x. So hang on. So so when you get to this stage here, you have to somehow work out a way of translating theta and uh, and somehow getting rid of this theta here because we want the answer in terms of x. So if you, if you want to know theta, if you go back to here, hang on. If you go back right to the start. Um, uh, earlier we said sine theta equals 2x. So if you want theta, then, uh, then inverse sine equally to both sides. That will then give you this. So, uh, so now you have a, a way of getting theta. So, um, so when you get to this stage here, so, so earlier we were at this stage here. Earlier we were at this stage here. So this here is your, your answer. But the thing is you don't want the answer in terms of theta. So you want, you want to somehow find a way of of replacing of replacing theta here you, you want a way of replacing theta here and theta here this bit is easy but you you still need to find a way of replacing this theta but this this theta here is locked in with this sign here so so in order for us to um, to replace this theta here we would need to use this so um, so whenever you have sine 2 whatever 2x here this is the same as this so we um, we would use this here and put it into here. So uh, so this thing here, this thing here will then take us to here. Okay. So uh, so so when you get to this stage here, you need a, you need to find a way of um, of uh, translating the theta and the theta here. But because this theta here is locked in with this two and this two at, this two theta here is locked in with a sign, we we need a way of um, of translating this. Um, because because the theta here is locked in, so you, so you, we've got to use this uh, entity here. Um, so uh, so replace this, put it into here. So this thing here will then take us to here. So uh, so once we're here, 
um, everything's easy now because we, we have a way of getting into this we have a way of getting into this because uh, because from above from above we said let's sine theta equals 2x so um, so so if you um, if you inverse sine equally to both sides that will then give you theta equals arc um, inverse sine of 2x so uh, so we can put this into into here okay so hang on um, so 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 we can put hang on, hang on. So, let, let, let me go back one step we uh, we are currently here at the moment so now uh, now we, we we need to replace this so put this into here so that will then take us to here uh, tidy this up that will then uh, that will then give us this and then uh, and then now now we need a way of uh, replacing this this and uh, you know, we, we, we need a way of replacing this this and this okay so so this is easy because we we would use this um, so so from above we said let's sine theta be 2x so you would inverse sine equally to both sides that would then give you this so we can put this into into here and then the sine sine theta look at this sine theta is 2x so so we can put the 2x into into here the cos theta if you if you scroll back we earlier we said cos theta equals this thing here so we can now put this thing into the uh, into the cos theta so uh, so this whole thing here will then become this and this here is your final answer okay this is your final answer